Hi guys, Sons of Radio here, back again for another video. I'm finally back for a match preview. No postponement this week as Swansea City are hosted Nottingham Forest in the Skybet Championship. Quite frustrating really, our game on the weekend got postponed against Sheffield Wednesday due to a frozen pitch. But not to worry because Swansea City is still in 3rd place in the Championship with 53 points. And Nottingham Forest, the visitors are in 16th place with 33 points. So last time out in the Skybet Championship then, Swansea City beat top of the league North City in a comfortable 2-0 victory. It was a very good victory for the Swansea Fields like ages ago since we last played Norwich. But obviously we did play Manchester City in the Cup after we did beat Nottingham Forest. So sorry Forest fans. But, you know, I'm not going to talk about that Manchester City game because there's not really much you can take out of that. You know, it was a chain squad. We were always going to lose. But onto that Norwich game then, it was great to see AU get back on form. Good, good to see him get a goal. It was great to see uh, Jordan Morris off the bench as well where he probably could have had a penalty. And obviously Paul Ariola was on the bench in that game. And obviously came on against Manchester City so there's a lot of positives out of that Norwich game of course getting the three points and again you know a negative may maybe is having another game in hand on Norwich and Brentford which you know really puts the pressure on us to keep winning these games I believe we have four points off Brentford five points off Norwich but we have a game in hand two games in hand actually on both of them so you know if we win all our games and win the two games and we'd be top of the league but it's not that simple for Nottingham Forest then they're being in the last four games they had a nil-nil draw against Bournemouth on the weekend decent draw really Bournemouth have been on you know decent form of late since they got rid of uh, Jason Tindall and Jonathan Woodgate has been in temporary charge so it's a good point really considering Bournemouth's attacking threat you know Forrest have started to pick up some form but Swansea are in good form as well and being in the last eight league games so you know both of these teams are you know starting to pick up form in the league especially I know I don't think this game will be easy you know we beat Forrest 5-1 but that was a much changed side you know Swansea made you know seven or eight changes as in Forrest made ten changes to that game so you know it's not going to be a 5-1 it's not going to be an exciting game I don't think you know Forrest are very well disciplined Chris Hooton then has really put a stamp on the team and you know they're really well disciplined now they don't score too many and they don't concede too many so you know with Glenn Murray there as well now they've got a really prolific championship goal scorer and they've also got Lyle Taylor and Lewis Graven so they're not short of options up front I think this will be a tricky game we need the three points so and I think Forrest are in a bit of a false position really they have struggled for the majority of the season they are starting to pick up form now and maybe they can uh, push towards that mid table like I said we did beat Northern Forest 5-1 in the FA Cup we also did beat them in the league in November so could we do the treble over Northern Forest this season? The three best players of Northern Forest this season. In third place, you've got the Scottish International Scott McKenna on a 6.76. In second place, you've got Ryan Yates on a 6.88. And in first place, you've got former Derby County right back Cyrus Christie on a 6.93. So they're the three players you've got to look out for for Northern Forest. And I believe Scott McKenna will not be available or Ryan Yates. So that's a big bonus for the Swans. On the team news then for Swansea City, four absentees, Brandon Cooper, Stephen Bender, Wayne Routledge and Liam Cullen all unavailable for the game. So five absentees for Nottingham Forest, Ryan Yeats, Sam Basso, Sammy Amiobi, Harry Arter and Scott McKenna are all unavailable for this game. So, as we are playing Nottingham Forest this weekend, I only had to get one person on, and that's Mr. Dawn Toe. And, of course, we've had him on a few times this season, and he has given his thoughts on Nottingham Forest ahead of the game tomorrow. So, make sure you go subscribe to him. His link will be down below, and hopefully you guys can join us watch along tomorrow when we do smash Nottingham Forest. What's going on, people? It's Mr. Dawn back again. And, yes, I'm on Bishop's channel to give my verdict on Nottingham Forest. They travel to Swansea in the league. And, yet again, I'm going to repeat it. Yes, you beat us, and this time you hammered us. But it was an FA Cup, so this time it's revenge. We'll beat you this time. So the game we played against Swansea, yes, you had Madrid, but it was a dodgy penalty. Um, the first goal was clearly offside as well. But fair play to Swansea, the, the game was a hide in. Um, they got some fantastic players, Swansea. Uh, Connor Julian, what a sign in. Um, I, I said to Bish that with him signing for Swansea, you're going to win the league, but you're not going to win this game. That's for sure. So in my prediction, uh, it's going to be a tough, tough game. But I'll be happy with a point. And I'm not saying that because, like I said, we, we have played us in the FA Cup. But this is a league. I'm going to go for a big score. I think I'll go for 2-2. Two, two. I don't know why 2-2. Two, two. Um, I don't care who scores, but my prediction is 2-2. Two, two. The point has not been that bad. We were in a loss 1-10. in 10, So... We can go Swansea in a little bit confident mood. I know we've drawn 0 0 against Bournemouth, but this could be a turning point for our season. I know we're still in a dogfight, but we chuffed to Swansea. Like I said, in a confident mood. I know we beat you last season at your ground in the league, but Swansea are in a fantastic form. So 
I think I'm slightly confident we could we could do something. Thank you for having me on Bish, but make sure Bish will be on my channel on Tuesday 9 o'clock to give his verdict on Swansea. If you're new to the channel, please do subscribe to Dolan Tour. Bish, I know that you're close to me, so I am chasing you. Subscribe to the channel, Swansea fans, if you enjoy it. I'll we'll be doing a joint watch along with Mr. Dolan tomorrow. It's just me and Dor. Um, he's doing his own watch along, I'm doing my own watch along. But we are doing a live match review on his channel. So about 10, 20 minutes after the game's finished, go on Dor's channel and I'll be on there discussing the game and my thoughts on the result. There's eight correct score predictions against Manchester City, but before we get into the score predictions against Manchester City, big shout to Declan Williams. I forgot to put him in last preview when he got the 2-0 against Norwich, right? So sorry, Declan, for missing you out, but you, congratulations again on your score prediction against Norwich. You didn't get it right against Manchester City, though, because these eight legends did. So congratulations to Dan Perkins, football commentator, Swan Slide Die 24, Bob Barber, Rufus Cook, Joe, Tingma Bob, Prog, and crazy skills. Shall we want to on the next match preview? That will be Friday's match preview against Huddersfield Town. Hopefully with a Huddersfield vlogger. Let me know what you think of your score prediction down below for this game. Going on to my lineup then against Norman Forest. I'm going to go for Freddie one minute goal. Back five of Connor Roberts, Ben Cabango, Ryan Bennett, Mark Wehi, Jake Bidwell, Jay Falter, Matt Grimes, Connor Horahan, Jamalo, Andre Ayew. And those are a lot of options or a lot of shouts for Jordan Morris to start. But I just think, you know, maybe on the weekend he can. I, you know, I just wouldn't change that team at the minute. You know, I think that is the exact team which beat Norwich apart from Benga Bango for Carl Norton. But you know, I played Benga Bango for he had a decent game against Manchester City, and you know, hopefully, he can learn from that experience. You know, there's a lot of options we can play. So maybe you know, if you play the Jan Dander instead of a Carl Horror or Mac I wouldn't really complain about that. If he decided to play, you know, Ryan Mannix or Jake Bidwell, I wouldn't really mind. Uh, a John Morris instead of a Jamal Lowe, I wouldn't really mind. So, you know, there's a lot of options there. That's just the team I'd go for though. So what is my score prediction then? I'm going to go for a 1-0 Swansea City win. I reckon a late goal from Andre will seal the three points for the Swans. It'll be a tricky game. I don't think there'll be too many goals in it. And just hopefully we can get three points. Also, Brentford and Norwich are playing on the same time and day. Uh, Wednesday, 7 o'clock. So, you know, all three of the promotion clubs are also playing in action on the same day. I believe we could actually go fourth if you're watching this on Wednesday. If Watford pick up the three points against Preston tonight. But, you know, I'm not too worried about Watford. We've got, like, three games in hand on them. So, you know, I'm not too worried on Watford. So the watch run tomorrow will start. 6.50pm, it feels like ages since I last did a watch long, it was last Wednesday the last did a watch long, so it's been a whole week for a chance to you guys, so I'm looking forward to it 6.50pm start tomorrow, of course it's 7 o'clock kick off, you know it's going to be a lot of fun checking the Brentford and Norwich results at the same time, so hopefully you guys can join me, I'm looking forward to it, thanks guys for watching, make sure you go and subscribe to Mr. Dawn Tour, and let me know your score predictions down below, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you in the watch long tomorrow at 6.50pm against Norman Forest, come on the Swans I need a one more chance, oh baby, let me show you I need a one more chance, oh